Hey everyone, welcome back to another video, and this is Phase 3B of Journaling by the Fives, and I say Phase 3B because the last video I did was just on the stenciling. I didn't get a chance to do the stamping because by the time, you know, with all the spraying and the drying time, that eats away a lot of time, with especially the drying of the delusion sprays, so I didn't even think about stamping, so I went back and spent another 15 minutes on the stamping and I used about eight stamps in four different ink pads and I kept one stamp to, or two one or two stamps to the same ink pad. So these are the pages. I'll show you at the end what stamps I well the stamps and the ink pads. And some of these pages are looking like a hot mess. I have to admit. But these are a little bit hot messes right here. <laughs> It's not too bad. This one's definitely a hot mess because it's bright but dark in some areas. And the last one. So the stamps I used were in the ink pads with the white Donna Salazar mixed media ink in doesn't say it's the white one. I used the swirl and this is from Arc on Wild and it's um part of the cube set. And this one did get a little cross contaminated when stamping because of the delusion sprays. I didn't set them. And then the heart is also from Archon Wild, and that's part of the cube set. And for that one, I used a Colorpop Archival Dye ink pad in Pinklicious. I know I'm shocked I used pink. <laughs> and then the Colorpop Pigment Archival is the silver, and I used two stamps with that. I used these dots, and I do not remember off the top of my head who makes this stamp. But I think I have it written down in my stamp catalog. So if I remember, I'll write or type it in the description box and the link. Because I'm not sure if this company is still around anymore. And then this one, the binary code is from stamps. That's no page. Judykins. It's part of a cube set with all kinds of other um, computer stuff on there. And then I used four stamps with the Versifying Black Onyx, or Onyx Black. And I used these two texture stamps, and I do not remember who makes them. I remember buying them at their warehouse. And I don't think they're around anymore. And I can picture everything except for the name. <laughs> When I find that member, I'll put that in the description box. And then I use this Harley Quinn, and I do not remember who makes that as well, and I think I have that written down too, so I'll put that in the description box. And finally, this um, clock or watch face stamp is from Rubber Baby Buggy Bumpers, and they are no longer around. Um, there is a company... I can't think of that name either that still sells their images. But um, as you can see throughout that book, um, when I stamped that, you didn't get that whole image. You got like little blumps and bumps of it there. Right there. You didn't get a good clean image. It was good for texture. So though that's phase three completely done, the next phase is 
focal point with words and images and I got this yesterday when we went to Main Street Station. It was you know, in the lobby part of the hotel. And it's just a book of, um, you know, shows and attractions and stuff like that. Dining. It has coupons. And then I was looking through it last night for something else. To look for something else. And I saw this ad for the Shark Reef Aquarium at Manly Bay. And I saw this image, and I saw, I actually saw the words. And that made me laugh, and I'm like, I have to use this, I have to use this page for that. For either in here, or somewhere else. So I tore that out, so that made make the cut in here. So that's it for now, and um, see you in the next round.